It is time to learn guard skip. Did you know that these guards down here are just placed incorrectly? And also, there is a loading zone behind them that is never used in the game. So you know the part where you're in the playground with Eris, and there's those big doors that open, and the, uh, and the thing comes out with Tifa on it? That's right down there. That big door is this loading zone at the bottom here, and it never gets used in the game until now. So this is another uh, this is another setup where you should be holding run the entire time. Some people will will like run. Oh, I did it perfectly. Some people will run like right here, and then they'll use like walking to get into position. But here's the deal: walking moves like exactly one fourth the distance that running does. If you look at our X position right now. So we're at all zeros, or, or zero, 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 two, two, zero, zero, zero. So if I run right one frame, uh, that puts us at three, two, zero, zero, zero. And then if we go one, two, three, four, you can see four walking frames left, counter acted, one running frame right. So down to the hex, it is exactly one fourth the speed to walk than it is to run. What that means is that if you're able to run into position, then there's no reason to walk. All you're doing is you're is you're making the grid finer and you're causing you're causing more inputs. You know, you're requiring more inputs from yourself. So from uh so how you do guard skip is be running, right? Be running and then run right until cloud is at this exact spot. Do you see how his hair is making this uh, it, it's like pointing to the right edge of this rock right here. So you got this rock right here, and the rock has these darker pixels over to the right. And you run right until until his uh, until his hair is right there. And if you're not, if you don't keep doing it perfect, like I keep doing it perfect, you can baby it right one one pixel at a time or one frame at a time. I mean to say, uh, until you're in that position. Yeah, you got it. That's step one. Then you run down while still running. Uh, and this part you actually have to run down. It's not even optional anymore. Run down until you're bonking into the guards. But now, one thing about Cloud's movement in this game is if there is space between Cloud and the wall, but not enough room for him to run, he won't even try. He won't move at all. But if there's enough room to walk, you can still walk a little bit closer, you just can't run anymore. He won't even try to run. But if I release run, he'll walk a little bit closer to the guard. And so we want that. So you run down, and then you release run in order to have him do that little stutter where he walks a little bit closer. Then you can release run. So it's running only to the right, uh, or left and right until you're in this position. Run down, and then release run and he does that little he does that little move and then while you're still holding down you tap r1 just give it a tap you can you can really ream on it as well it doesn't it's this isn't precise you just give it a tap and then release it then release down and now you can use your left and right movement until you see these two pixels of cloud's arm right here so like you know, this isn't far enough, not far enough, that's good, that's too far, right? You want two pixels of Cloud's arm here. Alright, so now, uh, this next part gets just a little bit weird. I'm even going to teach this in a way that I didn't learn, because there's a better way than I do it. Uh, <laughs> and so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach it that way. So... After going left and right, walking left and right to, uh, to get into this position, start holding R. As you're holding R, we are now going to do several runs right and walks left until we're in certain places. So first, as you're holding R, run right. And then release run, and Cloud will do that little pivot, and then release right. And then you walk left, with R still held, walk left until Cloud's uh, arm looks like this. 
you see that little kind of weird shape that his arm makes with that little like it's got like the C on the bottom with the angle at the top. That's uh, that position works, or or this position works where you just have this like right angle at the top of his arm. Either one of those positions work. Then, still holding R, run right once again, and release run again, and then release right. Then, do the same thing, walk left, with R still held, walk left again. This time though, so this is not far enough, this time we have to get that right angle. That's what we're aiming for this time. And now, once you're there, if you, still holding R, if you run right again, Cloud slips right past the guard. And then you just run down left from there, or just down or whatever. Uh, and we're here. This skips the entire second reactor. Normally what you would do is you would do the second reactor, you would meet Eris, you would go to Eris's house. Um, oh, you remember you have to remember you have to sneak past Eris? There's playground skip which has like the 50-50 uh, chance to work and stuff. Uh, and, and so there's the, there's, remember there's the whole cutscene where Tifa comes through these doors on the carriage? That's the part of the game that we're at now, is Tifa comes through these doors, she goes right, Eris runs ahead, and we are there. And so if we run over here and go into Wall Market now, Who's this lady? All right. So, let us go through that go go through all of those uh, uh, inputs just a little bit more clearly. And yes, uh, Stormer, this does work on on all versions of the game. The the visual cues you're gonna have to adjust for though with the different graphics. Um, okay. So let's go through all that one more time. So start out by running and go left and right until you're into this position, exactly, then run down, release run, tap R1, then release down, then uh, walk left and right until you're in this position, begin holding R until the end of the trick, and while holding R, run right, release run, release right and walk left until you're in this position or the next, then run right, release run, and then walk left until you're in this position, and then run right, and then go. Another time, just to keep on showing it, run right, run down, release run, tap R1, release down, left and right to get right here, start holding R, run right, release run, walk left, run right, release run, walk left, run right, and then exit the room. That's the trick. Now, let me teach you the backup though. All right, we're not done yet. There's a there's a backup if you if you screw one thing up. Remember how? Okay, let's get into one position here that I'd like to that I'd like to highlight. So remember on this part, this is the second of two possible options, right? And uh, so you can either get into the 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 wonky like C V look an arm or you can have this one okay cool but now then this one you have to get into this position which is only one position meaning it's easier to overshoot it by accident what if i uh oh i overshot it by one here's what you do if you overshot it by one don't panic keep on holding r and so this is the overshot by one position what you need to do is overshoot it by one more Right, so go left one more frame, and then run right again, release run, and you just do the last step again, where you get into this position that you overshot, and then you're good. So once again, uh, if you overshoot it by one, then just overshoot it by one more frame, and then you basically act as if you're just doing this, the last step again. So this is this step where you get to this spot, right? And then this is the step that you would start over, right? Is, uh, is I, I, I went left, uh-oh, I overshot it by one, overshoot it by another one, and now just act like you're in, act like you're in the 
first time that you set him up walking left, uh, where you just run down right again, release, go left until you're in that exact spot, and then go. Can you even back up more than once? I've never tried this, but I can't see why not. Let's find out. So, okay, okay, I'm, I'm guard skipping. Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm doing things. I, I'm trying to do different muscle memory than I learned this with. But okay, I think we're I think we're okay here. Uh, oh oh, overshot it. So overshoot it again. Come over here. There's the position. Uh oh, I overshot it. So one more. All right. There's the position. A, it works. So there you go. That's the that's the backup. Uh, very very useful to know. There is another backup though. Let's say you come down here, and you just all kinds of screw it up, right? You screw it up so bad that you're like, uh-oh, I just have no idea where I am anymore. If that happens, the full backup is just leave and come back. Just leave the room, come back in, and now you've reset your position. So now just take it from the top. Oh, oh. Yeah, like right now I'm just I'm I'm doing it with with the with the down rights instead of with uh with R cuz that's just how I learned it so that's what my muscle memory is. So all right, there you go. That is guard skip. Uh that is one of the that is one of the major skips. That is the first major skip in the any percent run.